the American economy is a wonderful machine. It, it really works. It's worked since 1776 and it'll continue to work. But it, we, <clears throat> we will continue to have ups and downs. Because for some Americans, they listen to that and they say, it's not working for me. Yeah. And they see stagnant wage growth and they feel like it's getting increasingly hard to get by year by year. So who's winning? Wall Street? Well, the, Street? The, the extreme rich are clearly winning. I mean, if, the, if you look at the Forbes 400, they had an aggregate net worth of 92 billion in 1982. We all know that investing is the key to building lasting personal wealth in any economy. However, you may doubt that becoming rich can be done with investing little to no money. You are mistaken, and here's why. As the great Warren Buffett once said, someone is sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. That is the power of investing. You can start investing with any amount, whether it's $10, $100, $1,000 or more, and build wealth beyond your imagination. The big question has never been about how much to invest, but actually how to invest. If you have, let's say, $800 right now, your goal is to put that money into something very lucrative so that in the coming years, your investment could multiply exponentially. So, how do you make this happen? In this video, I'll show you the three most effective ways to multiply $800. These methods have historically provided the most incredible returns at reasonable risk levels, not only for professional investors, but also for regular people like you and me. Moreover, they are projected to continue to be the best investments for decades to come. According to the top investors, including Warren Buffett, this is exactly what you should be looking for. First, let's start by considering one very important thing. Is your $800 a one-time investment? or do you intend to invest such amounts every month? You see, these two scenarios require different investment approaches, and we'll discuss both of them. They're the businesses that you buy once, and then you don't have to keep making capital investments subsequently, so you, 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 get, you do not face the problem of continuous reinvestment involving greater and greater dollars because of inflation. Let's consider the first case, where you only have $800. Perhaps it's your life savings, and you want to invest and make the money grow bigger. In this scenario, investing in stocks is not the best way to grow your money. That's because putting $800 in the stock market once will only give you tiny returns on investment. Picture this. Let's say you put $800 into the stock market at a nice rate of 20% per year. That means that after a whole year, you'll only make $160. Now don't get me wrong, a 20% annual return on investment is amazing. In fact, you'll hardly find such deals in the stock market. But you see, investing $800 here one time won't really do you any good. Plus, there's the general risk of losing your money if stock prices crash. Now you may wonder, what if I leave my money in the bank? After all, it's less risky, right? Now, bank savings accounts may be the safest way to not lose a dime, but they're also the least rewarding. Right now, as of the time of making this video, the average savings account in America is yielding an interest rate of 0.42% per year. That means putting $800 in the bank today, one year from now, you will have made an extra $3. That's right, just $3. Now, I'm not sure what part of the world you're watching from, but $3 can barely afford a pack of eggs in America today. So you can see that investing $800 in this way is not worth it. Truthfully speaking, you'll never build wealth by saving in a bank. Even CDs are not worth much. You see, a CD is another low risk kind of bank savings that most people would recommend to you. CD here stands for Certificate of Deposit. In this case, you put your money in a bank account, and the money is locked, so you can't withdraw. For instance, a four-year CD would keep your money locked up for four years. And you're not allowed to access the money until after four years. If you insist on withdrawing before the set date, you'll be charged a fee called an early withdrawal penalty. So, what makes CD accounts better than savings account? Well, CDs give better annual returns, but still, the amount of money you'll earn is not very impressive. 
You see, the average return of a CD in America right now is 1.72% per year. So this means after four years, your $800 would yield a total of $1,055. You'll admit that's not something to be happy about, especially considering that you had to wait a long time. So let's go back to stock investing. Let's say that you got a good stock with an average 7% return for 10 years. If you invest $800 once in this stock, your investment would have grown to $1,574 after 10 years. Now, that's impressive compared to the other two, but at the end of the day, you're still making less than $80 a year. That kind of money can barely change your wardrobe. How much more can it change your life? And so, now you see why these methods are not the ideal way to invest your $800. It would be best if you invest in more active ways of earning income. Once you start earning more money from your active investment, you can channel that extra cash into other forms of passive investment like bonds and stocks. Surely, passive income is the best, but it's useless if you're only bringing in less than $10 every month. This is why you should first think of multiplying your $800 into a larger sum so that you can make better returns from stock investments. So, how do you do this? This brings us to our first method of multiplying your $800. Number 1. Self-Investment and Deployment Now, I know investing in yourself may sound mundane or unprofitable, but it's actually the number one investment that you can make. Even Warren Buffett takes self-improvement seriously, which is why he said, The most important investment you can make in is in yourself. Probably the best investment you can make is in yourself. I mean, uh, for example, communication skills. I tell those students that, come, that uh, they're going to graduate schools and business and they, they're learning all these complicated formulas and all that. If they just learn to communicate better, and both in writing and in person, they increase their value at least 50%. Invest in your mind. Read books on wealth creation, or learn a new skill that you can use to actively generate income. The key thing about investing in yourself is that by doing so, you increase your value. As you should know, making money is all about value. The more money you give to the world, the more the world will reward you with the money. So, you can use that $800 to buy books or courses or pay for seminars and mentorships. Just find a way to grow your mind and knowledge. With $800, you can learn money-making skills like digital and affiliate marketing, graphic designing, programming, content writing, web development, search engine optimizing, and so on. Now, the second thing to do after absorbing knowledge and increasing your value is to give value. In other words, deploy that value or that skill you've gained to create an income stream. This is one of Warren Buffett's strategies, as he said, Never depend on a single income. Make an investment to create a second source. Thankfully, with the internet, you can now easily deploy your skill online without spending too much. You could decide to start up a blog to share your knowledge or even a YouTube channel. Or you could be a freelancer offering your services for a certain fee. Remember that you will invest quite a lot of time in your income stream in the beginning. You may even need to invest some money, too. This is crucial to its success. Eventually, the business will grow until it becomes so profitable that you can hire more people to help you and even quit your job to focus on growing the business online. So you see, it's all up to you. But the advice I would give is to read everything in sight you know, and, uh, and to start very young. It's a, it's a huge advantage uh, in almost any field. Uh, to start young, and uh, if that's where your interest lies, uh, and you start young, and you read a lot, you're, gonna, you're, you're going to do well. Now that you know what to do for a single $800 investment, let's talk about what to do if you have a recurring $800 investment. Let's say that you have a good job or side hustle that brings you good profits. So every month, you can add more money to your initial $800. Of course, it must not necessarily be $800. You could start off your investment with $800 and then add $100 monthly. This additional recurring investment makes your money multiply greatly. As I said in the beginning, passive income is the best. The sweetest feeling in the world is when your money is working for you and multiplying by the day, even when you're sleeping. So, what's the best way to achieve a purely passive income starting with $800? Number two, 
invest in stocks, and index funds. The quickest way to multiply your $800 passively is via the stock market. You can invest in the stocks of your favorite companies. For instance, you can invest in the stocks of Coca-Cola, Heinz, Amazon, Apple, Facebook, and so on. By buying a stock, you become an owner of a tiny part of the company. To invest in stocks, just visit a brokerage, select the stock you want to buy, and then pay for it. When these companies make money, so do you. But here's the thing. While investing in a single company gives you a chance to earn a lot of money, it also puts you at the risk of losing everything if the stocks depreciate or if the company goes bankrupt. For instance, let's say you put your $800 in Amazon, and then a few days later, Jeff Bezos announces a new policy that customers and company investors do not like, causing them to leave Amazon and patronize others. This will make the company stock prices crash, and investors like you could end up losing everything. This is why financial experts like Warren Buffett would advise you to take the time to study companies and do a lot of research, so you don't pick a company that ends up sending all your hard-earned money down the drain. One of Buffett's ultimate rules is, never invest in a business you cannot understand. But honestly, all that research can be very tedious work. Plus, there's no guarantee you'll make the right choice anyway. As businesses, it can be very unpredictable. So this begs the question, what is the safest and most profitable way to invest in stocks? Well, that's where index funds come in. With index funds, you don't need a perfect company to invest in. You just invest in a group of companies at once. For instance, you could buy an index fund of the top 100 stocks in the US and put your $800 into it. Some index funds pay dividends, while others do not. So, you'll have to confirm this feature just in case you wish to be paid tax-free dividend returns. Dividends, in this case, refer to a company's profits that are shared with the shareholders. So, how do you invest in index funds? Well, it is pretty much the same process as investing in regular stocks. But here's the thing, don't blindly put money into any index fund simply because it's safer than investing in a single stock. If your goal is to make a lot of money from the stock market, then always look for the best performing index funds and invest in them. I'll share a few examples of index funds with you. But remember, it's up to you to research and select your best option fund. So, let's say you want to invest in lucrative tech companies like Microsoft, Apple, and Tesla. Two good examples of index funds that you can get are the VGT and the QQQ. These index funds allow you to invest in several tech companies like these all at once. But note that these two funds don't have the same list of companies, so you should read on them and find out which has the tech companies that you prefer. Next, for the S&P 500, we have the Vanguard VOO or the SPY index funds. Investing in any of these means putting your money into the top 500 performing company stocks in the United States as listed in the S&P 500 index. If these companies grow, your stocks and your returns will also grow. Note that the list of companies in the S&P 500 change from time to time as stocks that don't do well are replaced with new ones. This could affect your profits. The last group of index funds we'll talk about are the dividend ETFs. These funds pay you annual returns from company profits. Two good examples are SDY and VYM. These funds invest in several companies that pay dividends, so they too pay out dividends to you as an investor. Now that you know how to invest, my advice is that you create an automated system so that anytime money enters your account, part of it is automatically diverted to your index fund. For instance, you can set up a system that automatically deducts $200 to your stock broker account every month when you receive your salary or income. This automation will help ensure consistency and also make the entire thing completely passive. However, do you really want to make it big in the stock market? How did billionaires like Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger do it? The answer is long-term investment. It's a simple trick Warren Buffett has used to make millions in profits from the stock market. Like Warren Buffett would say, if you aren't willing to own a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. 
Stocks are safe for the long run, and they're very unsafe for tomorrow. Berkshire, three times since I took over, has gone down roughly 50%. Did I feel poor then? No, not at all. I knew it was going to be worth more over time. American business is going to be worth more over time. That's what you're buying as a business. You're not buying a stock. You're buying a piece of a whole bunch of businesses. But what if you're not a fan of stocks or wish to invest your $800 passively some other way? Well, this leads us to our final way of investing your $800. Number three, real estate. Now, I'm sure you've heard about real estate investment, and you're probably wondering, how can $800 afford a house? Well, thanks to technology, you don't really need to own actual property to make money from real estate. You can simply invest in an REIT. REIT is an acronym for Real Estate Investment Trusts. Real Estate Investment Trusts are companies that invest in real estate. It's more like an indirect method of real estate investment because you're not actually owning any portion of the real estate, but rather you're owning a portion of the company that invests in real estate. One major advantage of REITs is that they give out huge dividends. Usually, they give 90% of their profits to the shareholders, you. To invest in REITs, check out options like VNQ and USRT. Another method you can use to invest in real estate is crowdfunding. Crowdfunding allows you to invest money, no matter how small, into a platform that owns a portfolio of real estate investments. As the investments bring returns, so too will you gain profits. Most of these crowdfunding platforms also pay off dividends to investors, but their dividends aren't as much as what you'll get from REITs. However, crowdfunding is more like owning a tiny portion of real estate. Unlike an REIT investment, where you own a tiny portion of the company that owns the real estate. State in general is good during inflation. If you built your own house 55 years ago, like Charlie did, or bought one 55 years ago, like I did, uh, it's a one-time outlay. Whereas if you're and you get the you get an inflationary expansion in replacement capital without having to replace yourself. So, what if you still don't fancy any real estate investments? What can you do with $800? Well, clear your debt. Let's say you have a loan that accumulates 4% interest yearly. If you pay off that loan one year earlier, you just earned yourself a 4% gain on your money, because that 4% you would have given to your bank is now yours. This is one smart way to clear your debt and still make small returns. Plus, there's the added advantage of becoming financially free, so you can focus on other passive income investments like the ones we've mentioned in this video.